Well, good morning. It's Randy T. Bird out here in sunny summertime Arizona. Uh, I guess it's still considered late spring in other places, but uh, it is summertime here when it's 100 degrees. Anyway, actually, this weekend it's only in the 90s. Probably be the last time we see 90s for high for a little while. Uh, Memorial Day weekend is supposed to be back up to in the 10 mid 100s 104 105 something like that and anyway just out for a ride this morning it is a little after six in the morning the air is cool the sky's got some wispy clouds in it uh, just a beautiful late spring early summer morning I apologize for not getting a video out last weekend uh, uh, last weekend was a music weekend for me uh, uh, my wife and I went to a uh, Tom Petty tribute band show on Friday night, which was pretty good. Um, and my band played Saturday night um, later in the evening at a uh, show at the Rhythm Room in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, we absolutely knocked it out of the park. And uh, my bandmates are awesome people. And uh, we killed it and actually scored uh, some future... Uh, ski uh, some future gigs there at the, at the Rhythm Room and that's an awesome place and uh, it's uh, well known for blues and uh, roots music which we do a little of a lot of actually but it was a lot of fun and uh, even though that we went on last out of several bands uh, there was still a good crowd there and they were appreciative and uh, got a lot of kudos out of that uh, so it was it was a lot of fun I finally came to a decision, I don't say finally, but I came to a decision on the saddlebags that I was going to get and I ordered a set from Leather Pros and uh, they are going to ship next week I was told. Uh, it takes a week, is two to four weeks lead time on them because they're made for order and uh, I checked up on them, it had been two weeks as of... Uh, I believe Thursday last and they're going to ship next uh, Monday or Tuesday so that'll be cool and I plan on doing a uh, give a shot at an install video I don't know how good that'll be I'll uh, try to get some help with the camera um, I have enough trouble putting things together without having to try to hold a camera at the same time I do I do have a tripod I might set that up maybe set up a couple different cameras to uh, mix in and out uh, I'm just going to give it a try and see what happens and if it stinks and it isn't any good then I will edit out the bad and try to uh, try to uh, put in the good and see see how that goes for y'all so again I did not record last week and I didn't want to recycle any old uh, video that I originally wouldn't have thought was good enough for use anyway so I, I, I just skipped a week I felt bad about it all week because I do know people like to, to view my stuff and at any rate I was just out for a ride this morning trying to just trying to enjoy the the weather while it's good. Hope you all are getting out and having uh, having good uh, good times on your bikes uh, I see a lot of stuff on the Instagram uh, people being out now and the weather is getting good everywhere and and uh, except for you folks I guess up in the Northeast uh, right now having some having some uh, weather issues but out here in Arizona it's really nice been watching a lot of videos on the new uh, Sportster Nightster and uh, uh, to me, it seems like an interesting bike. Uh, as always, the Harley faithful and the Harley haters are very polarized as to that. I've seen one. They're nice. Uh, watching some of the videos. I watched Matt Laylaw's video. Uh, and he always does the best analysis, even from his, uh, let's call it pointed point of view, because uh, he is a Harley dealer. And uh, But he's honest about um, his evaluation. So... If you're looking at those uh, and you're looking for a good review, I would uh, check out Matt Laidlaw's. It just came out in the last couple days. Uh, as always, his videos are very in-depth. This one, I think, is 29 minutes. 
and uh, but he, he definitely puts it through its paces anyway I'm going to append this video for now and I'll be back with more here a little bit later as I get out of the city um, this is Randy Tebert we'll see you in a little while hey it's Randy Tebert I'm back out for continuing my ride here on Sunday it is May 21st May 21st uh, 2022 can you believe it almost halfway done in the year already just out riding in the Sonoran foothills again today and love the looks of the clouds the way they silhouette against the sky beautiful the mountains look awesome as always just a beautiful day got no particular destination no hurry just out riding and stop for gas uh, my usual place and got to uh, chat with a BMW adventure bike rider and uh, also found out uh, through conversation he's a musician as well we got to talk about some music and some artists and it was a nice conversation it's always great to be able to talk to somebody at rides and it's a bonus when they like music and they play music as well it's always a, it makes for interesting conversation just out here on these open roads out here in Arizona and trying to think about places I'd like to go I'd like to see outside of the US uh, I know I'd like to see uh, England I'd like to see uh, oh god I'd like to see Australia New Zealand New Zealand's high on my list uh, I know that uh, Idlewise bike tours have a package there where you uh, rent a BMW and you run all over uh, I guess both islands of uh, New Zealand it seems pretty interesting uh, the uh, what I read once that says you can experience all four seasons in one trip there in New Zealand I guess it goes from tropical to, to uh, temperate to alpine just just about anything you you would have except for desert they don't have any desert down there and, uh, I guess they've even got penguins so that's kind of interesting I could be wrong if anybody from New Zealand watches this you feel free to correct me but I always uh, intrigued me uh, New Zealand beautiful place from, from what I've seen I guess they filmed some of the uh, Lord of the Rings movie scenes down in New Zealand I mean wow, that was so awesome and those views anyway uh, as far as US I think I'd like to see Maine and uh, New England area up there and uh, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire. Would love to see that. I've been all over the West. Uh, the place I'd like to go again would be Pacific Northwest. Uh, I've been to Colorado and uh, Nevada, Wyoming, a uh, little edge of Montana, and uh, and all over Wyoming. It seemed to always be in the middle of where I needed to go of course I've been to California I'd like to go to Death Valley in the winter of course because it is way too hot there already now oh I'd like to see the redwoods I haven't been up there and I'd like to take the coast highway one of these days I've been all over Arizona Arizona's a pretty wide variety of uh, terrain here from high mountains to low deserts and temperate areas Arizona is a pretty, uh, pretty amazing place if you ever get a chance to get out here. Uh, I highly recommend it. I highly also recommend that you don't do it in the summer. But, uh, unless you just stay in the north part of the state, which is really nice. Be prepared for rain in the summer. We get monsoon flows and uh, the rainstorms up north can be pretty violent. And with hail, and temperature can drop from 80 degrees to 52 degrees and a matter of 15 minutes and so if you're going up there make sure you always have 
warm weather gear or cold excuse me warm jackets and gloves and rain suits as you're going to need them i have practically drowned up there on my bike a few times up in northern arizona but it usually uh it's a good good uh way to get away from the valley and the heat of the summer you get up there and drop temperature by 30 degrees or more just the beautiful pine trees and whatever. Flagstaff, Arizona is nice. Williams, Arizona. Uh, Prescott, Payson. A lot of those areas up there are a lot cooler. And then, of course, you go to, out to the east, the north and east out there. Up around the Four Corners area, it's pretty desolate up the Navajo and Hopi reservations up there. There's a lot, uh, quite a bit of uh, open space up there. And uh, it doesn't rain much up there, and it looks, it's very desolate, uh, but also very quiet and peaceful feeling up there. If you ever saw the movie Wind Talkers, in the, one of the final scenes of the movie, the, uh, the Navajo Code Talker character is, is paying tribute to the, uh, the, the, the Marine uh, Nicolas Cage play up there, and it looks like Monument Valley. And, uh, it is exactly like that, folks. It is beautiful. I'm not sure exactly where I want to go today. Maybe I'll take a swing deck down by the river. That's where we're going. This goes past uh, Saguaro Lake. down by the Salt River, the Lower Salt River. God, you just can't beat these views. Still pretty early in the morning. Not a whole lot of traffic out just yet. They will be later. a nice uh, ride down through here the uh, the terrain is is very cool looking here uh, really rough looking mountains down here that run along the uh, river basin the river canyon I should say watch for horses there are wild horses down here by the river and uh, they believe this is their terrain, so they uh, they don't really care much for people car in cars. They'll just walk out in front of you. They don't care. Wow, a lot of cars parked there at a trailhead. Must be uh, some hikers or bicyclists or whatever. Hard to tell. But wow, I'm not used to seeing that. People trying to squeeze the last bit of uh, good weather out of the spring down here. Some bikes out on the highway today. It's not a real fast road, but it's, uh, it's an interesting one. You know, you don't have to go fast all the time, you know. Slow down and enjoy the scenery. Enjoy life. You know, going fast is fun, no doubt. But, you know, the whole time and place thing. cool things about this ride is that uh, when you make all your way all the way down past the river canyon uh, it just within a mile you're back to the 202 freeway and just it's, it's a, about a 15 or 18 mile blast back down to uh, where I live so you don't have to go through a lot of uh, you know surface street traffic it's pretty nice 
you look out there in the distance at about the 11 o'clock, there's a little spire, rock spire sticking up. That is called Weaver's Needle. That's up in the, uh, the range of the mountains that is the superstitions and then farther north. Get a great view of the whole valley here before you head up into the higher mountains and four peaks off to the side. I remember when I was a kid, my folks took us out here. It was pretty interesting. Uh, we couldn't really appreciate it as kids. You know, all we wanted to do is get to the lake and go swimming and things like that. But now I'm just so, just so uh, impressed and enamored with with just the terrain and topography. I mean, we only get to spend so much time on the planet and uh, it's nice to be able to slow down and, and enjoy what we have here while we still have it. There's an off-road riding uh, area out here somewhere. I've never been there, but uh, I've heard it's pretty cool. You can get all the way down by the lake from what somebody told me. I can't independently verify that, but I, I don't imagine they'd have any reason to lie about it. I'm going to swing down by the lake today and see what that looks like. That turn off here is coming up pretty soon. Here we are. This is a popular stop off for a lot of people to go for rides. It's not too far from the city. It's, it's, it's a pretty uh, easy ride out here. The desert lakes are fed by the Salt River, which is fed by snow melt in the mountains. Still good water level here out at this lake. I mean, it's not like Lake Mead, which looks like it's down hundreds of feet. It's pretty scary. We were there in last summer, and it was bad. Really bad. This is a road that goes down in by the lakes, but you can't really... Uh, you have to pay to get in there. And uh, I don't want to pay to get in just to turn around and come back out, so... Speed bumps, I hate them. They have a little restaurant down here and boat tours you can take on the lake there. And not too many people here today. There's some people on bikes. Beautiful view, beautiful desert lake. In. Anyway, this is Randy T. Bird out here in Arizona. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like to, it's easy, it's free. Give it a shot. Also, uh, like, share my videos with a friend, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. And we'll talk to you again later.